Hi, I'm Dr. Sharwani Duba, Consultant General Surgery, Areet Hospitals. So today I would be discussing about some bothersome swellings uh, that can occur at any part of your body. So it can be your shoulders, back, chest, arms, thighs, or your leg, or even your legs. So the most common swellings that we often encounter one a lipoma or a sebaceous cyst. So how do we differentiate them? That I will be explaining uh, today. So what is a lipoma? Li lipoma is nothing but a fatty swelling that uh, grows below your skin. So it can uh, occur any part of your body and uh, it mostly is the common swelling and mostly a very harmless swelling. So when do you approach a doctor? So often uh, people have uh, complaints of a swelling that has been there for many years and it doesn't bother them at all. Sometimes people just develop a swelling uh, which is a lipoma and they've been bothered with some pain. So that uh, once you get examined by your doctor, the he, he or she will determine the size of the swelling, whether it's painful or whether it was rapidly growing. And uh, so how do we determine if it is a lipoma or not? When you touch the swelling, it would be it would feel more dovey and uh, uh, soft. So once that is determined and it's confirmed that it is a lipoma, uh, so the most common treatment is a simple excision. So when do we do that? It, uh, we do that when the size of the swelling is more than 5 centimeters, or if it's painful due to some pressure on the skin or for cosmetic purposes if it is on any visible areas of your skin. So that is a lipoma. The other common swelling that we encounter is a sebaceous cyst. So what is a sebaceous cyst? It's mostly because of the blockage of any sebaceous glands that uh, are present all over your skin. So sebaceous cysts also can occur at any part of your body. So cyst is nothing but a sac that is filled with either pus or any sort of a fluid. So in this case, if the sebum gets infected, it will turn into pus and it might just be painful, hot and tender to touch. So how do you differentiate, uh, like how do you know it is a sebaceous cyst? So when you touch the sebaceous cyst, it would just feel like a uh, uh, soft, uh, soft or a firm uh, swelling and uh, it can be red like I said and more importantly it can have a small little hole which we usually call a punctum in the center. Uh, what is the treatment of choice? So for sebaceous cyst often if it is not infected we could just wait and watch or another simple procedure is a simple excision that can be done under uh, local anesthesia. So these are the most uh, two most common swellings to look out for. Thank you.